friends and family. Hopefully family's not watching this. Thank you for watching this episode of Ask Brit Shit that hasn't even taken place yet. So I don't know why I'm thanking you for watching when it hasn't even taken place yet. Because as far as I know, you've clicked out of this already. I'm just essentially talking into the abyss right now. And that loud bang, that was my, a GameCube on my desk. That just kind of fell. That's all that was. Don't worry. Today I'll be sipping some very cheap cinnamon whiskey called Catch Fire, I think. I'm somehow out of Jack, so this is what I've been drinking. I have to say though, I have been trying other whiskey. I tried Maker's Mark, which I've had before, but I've never like bought a bottle of it just for sipping because hi, that's expensive. What's the other whiskey? Um, it has like Elijah something in it, Elijah in it, and then there's another one. Um, fuck, what's the name of it? Uh, Hayden, something Hayden. Um, something, something Hayden. What is it, you guys? Fucking fuck, I was gonna call someone, but now I don't need to. Hayden Whiskey, I'm sorry. I know this is so unrelated to everything I'm doing in my life. My camera's right in my way, so I can't. Basil Hayden, Basil Hayden, that shit's good. All right, anyway, so ask Bridget. <laughs> oh yeah, tastes like a hangover. Oh. Reed Wintergreen has asked me, do you ever miss the video rental stores? Yes. Now some of you, some of you children may not have been alive when video rental stores were a thing and I kind of feel sorry for you because although they were highly, highly inefficient, they were, there was something kind of warm and fuzzy and maybe this is just because like this, that was my life back then where it was something warm and fuzzy about um, knowing that you and the family are going to the video rental store and you get to peruse this huge store, Hollywood video, of potential movies and they had games and all sorts of movies categorized by genre and you know it was kind of a hunt because sometimes you would find a movie that you really wanted but then they it wasn't in stock like you would find like the cover of it but there'd be no VHS behind it or no little like sticky things to peel off which meant that someone had already peeled it off and that meant someone already had it like a fun tradition we had was let's go pick up a pizza and then let's stop by the video store on the way back and let's pick a movie and me generally I'd also get a game as well and that was, you know, I think I had some really fond memories of doing that stuff, especially when I was little. I'm still playing the Super Nintendo. I couldn't have been older than six. Because I, I see, I saw a certain um, cover art and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And then I would look at the back of it and I was like, oh, that doesn't look like my kind of game. Like Clay Fighters. Do you remember the cover art for Clay Fighters? I thought that looked like the shit, I, but it was never my kind of game. So yes, while it's super convenient to just, you know, scratch your nuts on the couch and peruse through Netflix, and pick a movie you want there I do miss the the fun part of kind of getting up and going to the movie store and spending like half an hour picking something you know that was fun Reed also asks what is your fascination with butt sex <laughs> um. I gotta say the fascination with butt sex has nothing sexual to do with it. It's just a really, it's just a funny word. You have sex and you have butt. And butt is just a funny word. Butt goes, butt's funny with anything. Like I'm gonna look around my room and say things with butt. Butt fan. Butt poster. Butt shades. Butt lamp. Butt water bottle. Butt Mass Effect 2. You know, it's just funny shit. So I think it's a funny word and I first started really saying it after I watched a certain South Park episode. Butt sex requires a lot of lubrication, right? Lubrication. Luper, chupa, chupacabras, the, the goat killer of Mexican folklore. Folklore is stories from the past that are often fictionalized. Fictionalized to heighten drama. Drama students. Students at colleges usually have bicycles. Buy it, buy it, binary. It's binary code. Who's having butt sex? So there's that. <laughs> Patrick Smith asks, do you ever get emotionally invested in a game so much that near the time to beat the game, you make excuses not to play it because you don't want the game to end? Ugh, no, because if I'm at the point where I don't want the game to end, that probably means that the story is really, really good and I'm a story whore and I want to know what the fuck is going to happen next. So chances are I'm just going to be like playing that game every waking minute that I can. Um, yeah. Yeah, I... <laughs> that said though, and I think I've talked about this before, I do go into depression immediately after beating a game. I'm just fucking depressed. And I am so depressed. So depressed. Yeah. That happened to me. Final Fantasy IX. That was the worst depression I think ever. <laughs> worst game depression I ever had, I think, is where I beat Final Fantasy IX and then I was just like... 
now what? You know, because back then, God, that was how many years ago was that? 14 years ago? Oh, God. Um, you, you didn't have DLC to look forward to. It's not like today's games where you defeat, like, The Witcher or Dragon Age Inquisition, and you're like, oh, it was a really, really good story, but thankfully the story will continue in some form of DLC. Hell no, back then, no, you were done. That was it. You were just fucked. And you got a shitty copy of the game, guess what? You were fucked. No patches incoming. Mm -mm. Kind of derailed there, sorry. Our last question will come from... I hope I don't fuck this up. Davin Robert Sturdevant. Davin or Davin? I'm sorry. Anyway, David Davin, your question is, I am sure there are some amazingly fun things about being a blogger and a gamer, but are there any things that you do not like about it? So there's two parts to that. There's the part about being a blogger and a gamer. Um, would I, is there anything about it being a gamer I don't like? No. Like being a gamer itself is just like my life. Like that's what I am, that's what I do. And that's just such a big part of me, you know, that I, it's an undying, like, unconditional, unconditional passion I have. Now, being a blogger, that's also kind of tricky, that's tricky because I am my own boss in that aspect. You know, I don't write for any of these big outlets, so it's not like, you know, I have IGN or Destructoid or Kotaku, like, breathing down my neck if I'm not getting something done. So, that said, there, you need a lot of self-motivation, a lot of your engine needs to be like constantly going. So, hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to answer this. So, when you combine a gamer and a blogger, the gamer is the recreational, like, I just game because I love it. And then there's blogger, which is like, I blog because I love it. However, when you combine the two, there's kind of like a work aspect that kind of gets involved with that. And so there are often times where I feel like I can't go back and play some of the older games because if I do, then I'm going to fall behind on what's current. And if you're not, you know, if you're not current with this industry, then you may as well just be 10 years in the past. Do you know what I mean? So... I would say the one thing I don't like about it so much is just how important it is to like keep up with the news and you know the, the industry is a huge industry and there's new shit happening every day and new games being released this holiday season is going to be fucking insane I don't know how I'm going to do it um so you know I, I basically I should have been a retro game blogger I should just have been like a blogger that just plays old games and casually talks about them that's what I should have done with my life huh. I'm just kidding I like where I am <laughs> And with that, friends, that'll do it for this episode of Ask Brit Shit. If you'd like to ask me shit, you can email me, post on Facebook, on Twitter, message me on Facebook, YouTube. I don't really care. Just do it in a, in a way that I will see it so I can answer your question. Why am I talking like this? What is this? I don't even understand it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.